A warm welcome to Caribbean Roots Cuisine, home of the famous pepper pot soup. This patio is gorgeous. I feel like I'm chillaxing in Jamaica. Hi. Hello. Boss, we really, really, truly appreciate those words. <laughs> we try to get that unity and the love. That homely vibe, you know? You know what I mean, I say, brother? Yeah, man, it's a yard man thing, you know? Yes. Because we know two, you know, it's a separation thing. Mm -hmm. We love when people come together mm -hmm. and live as one. As one. All hell Jamaicans, right? <laughs> Can't just not bother with that, man. <laughs> you know, so I travel all over the world, and everywhere I go, Jamaica is all people talk about. I rest my case right there. Hi, I'm Zai, and my family owns Caribbean Roots Cuisine. This is my sister, Heather. She is too smart for her own good. This is my daddy. He's the best dad in the world. But when he rolled those eyes on you, even dog afraid. Here's my Uncle Paul. Every day, he and my dad just spend hours chatting about what they did in Jamaica. Sometimes it's funny, but sometimes I just say enough already. This is Richard. He's the lead waiter and he thinks he's God's gift to Earth. Welcome, welcome everyone. I am so excited today. Oh my goodness, I can feel it in my bones. This is the grand opening of Caribbean Roots Cuisine right here in LA. Meet fabulous Felicia. She's from Trinidad and Tobago. She's in charge of entertainment here at Caribbean Roots. Put your hands together for the first family, Mr. Donna Lewis and his entire crew for putting all of this together. Don, we are proud of you. Well done, well done. Empress, mm -hmm. would you like to try our pepper pot soup today to start off? Empress, huh? Yeah. I like the sound of that. Me too. How hot is it? Hot like lava, like a bite your lips. And lick your finger. Mm. Painful pleasure from the Caribbean islands. Mm. Just for you. <laughs> I have to give you Caribbean men credit. You sure do know how to provide exactly what the doctor ordered. All night long. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have the soup and a tall, tall glass of sparkling water. Okay, that sounds lovely. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Big man. I this say this, man. My you don't know me. No, you're from where? Hello, someone? <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, I'm still coming by later. Just make sure. It, yeah, just make sure it's nice and warm. Yeah. All right, sweet. Me work. Me work. Me can't talk. All right. Bye bye. All right, boss. Yeah, say on the jerk chicken or. You don't know, have to work out right now, you know. I this year I tried this, I turn off on my ringtone. You know, I feel like eating again, you know. Right now, I'm losing my appetite. You still need that glass of water. Here's my number. What was that for? You know, see, I this the man I tried this, me. I thought Jamaican men didn't get jealous. Watch how you talk to me, too, you know. It's not a form of jealousy, but him step out of line. I wait a board if you know him, please. I wanna love you forever. I'm already rocking. I'm already rocking to that smooth, smooth Jamaican beat. That's right. And we have one Mr. J5. Mr. J5 is one of Jamaica's biggest, biggest artists. That's right. He is world renowned. He has performed in front of thousands. We are honored. We are graced. We are so excited to have Mr. J5 gracing us right here at Caribbean Roots. Put your hands together. Create separation, money and power, yeah. Cause destruction, disillusion. I tell you that it's hard broken. This world is sad broken. It's the feeling that I'm feeling when I'm feeling. The whole place grieving, cause it's 
heartbroken. This world is heartbroken. Good evening. Mr. Lewis. Hello. Welcome to the Caribbean Roots Cuisine. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. I'm Professor Scott. This is my lovely wife and her friends. I want to congratulate you on a very fine enterprise you have here. Thank you very much. Are you all having a good time? Yes. yes. Yeah. Great. Well, consider this a home away from home. All right? Yes. Pepper pot soup on the house for everybody, okay? Thank you. I have to go attend to some business. Thank you, sir. Ladies. Enjoy. Very nice. Yeah, it's right. been great. Would you all like some fresh air? Yes, sure. sure. Thank you. All right. So I see you guys are having a good time. <laughs> good, good. Auntie, Auntie, Dad, Big Sister are fighting. They're driving me crazy. I need a vacation. <laughs> this is my Auntie Pauline. I just love her. She's here with my dad because my mom's out of town. <laughs> Excuse me. It looked like the devil set you on me today. Today of all day, when I'm opening a new business, what kind of disgrace you bringing down on me? I bust my backside to create a better life for you. And you come to me with your foolishness, you ungrateful little wretch. No, 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 that is not what is going on in here. You're supposed to be celebrating. Listen, stop this madness right now. This man is out of his mind. I'm an Ivy League, highly educated woman. He expects me to go out there and recite some silly Caribbean poem like a five-year-old island idiot? Am mad? What is who this little pissing tail calling oh, this mind? Huh? Listen, I am your father and you will speak to me with respect. Okay. You hear me? Uh, and don't you oh, ever, right. ever pass your place with me again. Fiesty. Oh, wait, and don't forget that I paid for your Ivy League education. Do you hear me? All right. Heather, you can't talk to your father like that. Listen, it doesn't matter that you're 22. You have to always speak to your parents with respect. Your mother would be so disappointed. Back home, where Granny used to say, good manners will carry you through this world without a cent. You really don't get it, huh? Respect is a two-way street, and I'm tired of going down that road by myself. What about you two respecting the fact that I don't care for any of this Caribbean nonsense? I'm an American, and that's all I care to be. You should respect the fact that I don't need to embrace a culture that I don't care about. My roots are from right here where I was born. I'm L.A. to the bones. Why can't Listen you respect mind. that? Hush your mouth. Well, well, well. Princess Heather, how's the weather? I'm fine, Richard. Fine you are. Fine by Caribbean wine. Is that the best you can do, really? Best as of now. Until you stop hiding your feelings for me. <laughs> I will never, ever, ever date a Caribbean man. That's because you haven't found the right one. Until now. Caribbean roots. Will you be dining with us today? Where what? Calm down. Calm down. I apologize for staring now, but I just love that little singing accent you got going on there. I just wanted to hear you speak one more time, okay? But on a more serious note, I am Officer Tiffany Thomas Williams, and I'm here looking for someone with the last name Williams or Thomas. Well, in that case, Follow me. Thank you, Shug. Or should I say, thank you, man. He's coming all the way from the island of Trinidad and Tobago. That's right. All the way from Trinidad and Tobago. But he's not just representing Trinidad and Tobago. He is representing the entire Caribbean. Put your hands together for the one and the only Mr. Einstein. <laughs> Mr. 
Listen now. Hey. We're gonna humanize the earth right now. Humanize the earth. This is a happy day. Why are you crying? Want to hear a story? When I'm at school and I tell all my friends that I'm from the Caribbean, they think it's so cool. But when I'm in the Caribbean and all the mosquitoes start biting me, I'm an American. I want to go back home. So we have the best of both worlds. Yes, we do. It wasn't necessary, Jay. I just know. I just know. It's not you. You did not do this to me again. This is Carla Lopez. She's a waitress and an actress. And that's all I'm going to tell you about her. Oh, really? Go on. Is, this, is this a prank? No way them could have do this to me again. I don't know you. You tell me. It's not every day in LA you meet a fine Puerto Rican mama like me. I don't know why you're acting all niche on me now. You mean he has him? I'm not understanding. No, sweetheart. I mean just what I say. He knows what I'm talking about. I'm not your sweetheart. But I would like to know what's going on here. Why don't you ask Poppy to play over here? Oh, wait. He doesn't remember. I forgot he has amnesia. I don't know what she's talking about. Because at first I'm seeing her in my whole life. Well, good evening to you both. Over welcome to the Caribbean Roots Cuisine, home of the famous pepper pot soup. What would you like to start off with today? Two country boys come to America, to Hollywood, and look how we make it, man. Yes, from barefoot to nothing to, to not to look at this. Hollywood, man. look at this. Remember the time you and me were sitting in the backyard and was eating, I was eating my last piece of curry chicken and dumpling. <laughs> and mommy called me for coming and help put away the groceries. <laughs> and as soon as I get up from the ground, Miss Ice is stinking dog running. I eat my last piece of chicken off of my plate. Sure, I hate that dog. Yes, it was my last piece of chicken. My ball to me nearly dead. I can't stand that dog, man. Let me tell you a story about that teething dog. One morning, I went outside to check the chickenness if there was an egg for me to make my breakfast. When I was about to go under the cellar, is the fall I see chasing the dog round and round and round the house. The chicken was so upset. And the dog... <laughs> and the dog mouth was full of eggshell and shiny like a shed pan. Why that dog? I tell you. Let me tell you something. I was so mad that morning because you know that I love my scar leg every morning before I go to school. Yeah, I remember. You understand? <laughs> That's how you get the nickname Scarlet. So don't tell nobody that, man. <laughs> Boy, I remember them days. Yeah, man. Mama would be yes. proud of yes. a Rasta. Yes. It's nice, man. Look at this. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Can't go wrong, yes, sir. Yes, brother. Cheers here. Hollywood. Hollywood. Jamaica and Hollywood. Yeah. <laughs> ah. The Caribbean Roots restaurant owned by us. Yes. Soca music for your bone structure. I went to the soca dance just the other night. Tell your man it was a jam. I was feeling right. Under soca influence. Hold my girl tight, tight, tight. Somehow I lose balance and I jump on one foot all night. She said, baby, please good foot for me. So come let me jump. Thank you for watching Caribbean We can't wait to see you when the season kicks off. Thank you.